alliterative verse from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at en.wikipedia.org. In prosody, alliterative verse is a form of verse that uses alliteration as the principal structuring device to unify lines of poetry as opposed to other devices such as rhyme. The most commonly studied traditions of alliterative verse are those found in the oldest literature of many Germanic languages. In various forms, it is widely found in the literary traditions of early Germanic languages. The Old English epic Beowulf, as well as most other Old English poetry, the Old High German Muspilli, the Old Saxon Heliand, and the Old Norse Poetic Edda all use alliterative verse. Alliterative verse can be found in many other languages as well, although rarely with the systematic rigor of Germanic forms. The Finnish Kalevala and the Estonian Kalevopiek both use alliterative forms derived from folk tradition. Traditional Turkic verse, for example, that of the Uyghur, is also alliterative. Common Germanic Origins and Features, Section 1. The poetic forms found in the various Germanic languages are not identical, but there is sufficient similarity to make it clear they are closely related traditions stemming from a common Germanic source. Our knowledge about that common tradition, however, is based almost entirely on inference from surviving poetry. One statement we have about the nature of alliterative verse from a practicing alliterative poet is that of Snorri Sturluson in the Prose Edda. He describes metrical patterns and poetic devices used by skaldic poets around the year 1200. Snorri's descriptions has served as the starting point for scholars to reconstruct alliterative meters beyond those of old and Norse. There have been many different metrical theories proposed, all of them attended with controversy. Looked at broadly, however, certain basic features are common from the earliest to the latest poetry. Alliterative verse has been found in some of the earliest monuments of Germanic literature, the golden horns of Galahus, discovered in Denmark and likely dating to the 4th century, bears this runic inscription in Proto-Norse. Yek kre vestir hotriar horna davido. I Hlevagastir, son of Holt, made the horn. This inscription contains five strongly stressed syllables, the first three of which alliterate on H, essentially the same pattern found in much latter verse. Originally, all alliterative poetry was composed and transmitted orally, and much has been lost through time since it went unrecorded. The degree to which writing may have altered this oral art form remains much in dispute. Nevertheless, there is a broad consensus among scholars that the written verse retains many, and some would argue almost all, of the features of the spoken language. Alliteration fits naturally with the prosodic patterns of Germanic languages. Alliteration essentially involves matching the left edges of stressed syllables. Early Germanic languages shared a left prominent prosodic pattern. In other words, stress falls in the root syllable of a word. This is normally the initial syllable, except when the root is preceded by an unstressed prefix, as in past participles, for example. The core metrical features of traditional Germanic alliterative verse are as follows. A long line is divided into two half lines. Half lines are also known as verses or hemistics. The first is called the A verse or on verse. The second, the B verse or off verse. A heavy pause or sacera separates the verses. Each verse usually has two strongly stressed syllables or lifts. The first lift in the B verse must alliterate with either or both lifts in the A verse. The second lift in the B verse does not alliterate with the first lifts. The patterns of unstressed syllables vary significantly in the alliterative traditions of different Germanic languages. The rules for these patterns remain controversial and imperfectly understood. The need to find an appropriate alliterating word gave certain other distinctive features to alliterative verse as well. Alliterative poets drew on a specialized vocabulary of poetic synonyms rarely used in prose texts and used standard images and metaphors called kennings. End of part one. This song found all text in the article licensed under the GNU free documentation license.